Hi and welcome students. In this Computer Fundamentals tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install software on your Windows PC, and I'll be talking specifically about Windows 10. Let's get started. So you used to download most of your programs via CD-ROM. That was in the 1990s to the early 2000s, but that's no longer the case. Now you're going to download everything via internet browser, and I recommend browsers like Chrome or Firefox to get this done. Now the next thing that you have to know is you won't be able to download anything on your computer if you don't have admin rights. You you need to make sure that you have admin rights that you can download new programs. Alright, so the next thing that you need to know is that since uh, the downloads are done via the internet, that means that they will download on the internet and they will be sent to a folder on File Explorer. The folder that they, got, that they get sent to is this one right here called the Downloads folder. I'm going to show you how to get to that folder in just a minute. And all you have to do is once the download is done, you double click and then you click run. Now the difference is between just downloading like a regular Word document versus downloading a new program is the new program is going to be in .exe format. .exe format is unique to Windows and so if you ever see .exe you know that you're going to be downloading a new program. Alright, so how to find software. You're going to want to do it via search engine, but you need to be careful when you're downloading any new programs or any new software on your computer. You have a few options when it comes to downloading, and I recommend uh, going with a Google search to do that. And you have to be careful with .exe formats, especially if you see it in something strange like your email. If, some, if you get a spam email and you look at the attachment and it says .exe in it, chances are they're going to have you download something and if it's not from a center that you know or about a piece of software that you're familiar with uh, then you're probably going to have a bad time because they're going to uh, send you something to download on your computer chances are that's going to be a virus or some type of malware that is going to make your um, uh, computing experience not so good so I typically avoid .exe attachments in any emails. All right. Uh, next thing that you have to know is when you are downloading, you want to avoid uh, third-party websites if you can. Uh, you know, if you're trying to say download Microsoft Office and it says Microsoft Office download for free, chances are that's probably not going to be the best source for you to download Microsoft Office. You're probably just going to want to go into the Microsoft Store and download it that way or go directly to Microsoft's website to download it. So again, you're going to want to go first party websites on any software. Um, it's probably worth it uh, to just make sure that you download it directly from that publisher rather than going through a uh, third party. Now some th third party websites do have add-ons which is additional software that it's kind of bundled in. This used to happen a lot when people would uh, download CDs or, or music. Uh, a lot of times the files would have the MP3 files that you wanted, but they would also bundle in um, additional, you know, uh, malicious software. And that's why we saw a big spike in, or that's one of the reasons we saw a big spike in um, antivirus software in the uh, early 2000s and just to increase in viruses overall. So what I'm going to show you now is uh, if I open up File Explorer, you're going to see that I'm going to go to my downloads folder and it's going to show some files here that I was just testing on the downloads. And I'm going to go ahead and delete these. And when I delete these from the downloads folder, it sends them to the recycling bin. And so this folder is now empty. If you download a lot of things on your computer, this will be really filled up. So I do recommend emptying this from time to time. I'm going to show you how to download something on Firefox first. And I do note that the difference or that there are differences in the browsers. So if I go into Firefox and I try to download this file, which is a .docx file, I'm going to click on it and you'll notice that a open attachment dialog box will appear and I have two options. I could either open with Microsoft Word or save the file. Okay. Um, if you are downloading a new piece of software, you will notice that it's a .exe file and you have the choice to open with File Explorer, which will take you to the downloads folder or you could save the file. If you save the file, I click OK. I see that this little button right up here in the top right will blink for a second and that's where my file is located. It's also basically sent, if I follow this link to right here, this is going to take me to my downloads folder. So I click that and it takes me to my downloads folder. And you can see that's where all of your downloads go by default. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the difference with Chrome. If I'm in Google Chrome, I go right here and I click on this file. A dialog box will not pop up in Chrome, but I see down here I have the option to open up the file by just clicking on the file itself, or if I click right here on more, 
I could open in a folder just like in Firefox and if I go there now we see the two files that I've downloaded. So keep in mind I didn't actually install any new software on this computer that's because I actually don't have admin rights on this computer since it's a school computer. So um, if this was an exe file I would double click on this and then going back to the PowerPoint you would uh, after that you would click run and that would run the software but again make sure that the software is um, is reliable and safe before you download it so that you don't end up with any programs that you weren't expecting on your computer hopefully this video has explained a little bit more about downloading uh, software onto your Windows PC and if it's helped you out please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day